listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. Today is the feast day of St. Mary McKillop and also the feast day of St. Dominic. Now, this week we are talking about incredible Catholic heroes that really show us how to change the world as followers of Jesus Christ. Before we dive into the story of St. Dominic, however, please join me in praying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So as I said, today is the feast day of St. Dominic. St. Dominic is a super duper important saint. Dominic might sound familiar if you know religious orders. He is the founder of the Dominicans who have various forms and are very active in the world today. There are women who are Dominicans. There are men that are Dominicans. So St. Dominic himself was born in Spain in the year 1172. His mother is also a saint. And while she was pregnant, she had a dream. And that dream was that a child leapt from her womb. And then that child became a dog. And the dog had a flaming torch in his mouth. And he ran through the whole world. And that torch lit the whole world on fire. Now, this vision has really, really been a powerful explanation of what St. Dominic did during his life. He became a powerful preacher. He founded an order of preachers, and their words, as they traveled throughout this whole world, transformed the world, set people's hearts on fire with God's love. And for this reason, St. Dominic and his order have oftentimes been called the dogs of Christ. So St. Dominic was devout from an early age. He entered religious life, became a monk, dedicated himself to study. When he was a young man, he accompanied a bishop on a diplomatic journey through France. And as they traveled, they discovered that a terrible heresy or false teaching was spreading throughout France. In fact, one night they lodged with a local leader who believed this heresy and promoted it. All night, St. Dominic sat up with this man and gently talked to him. And in the morning, this man had been converted. He had been brought back into the fullness of the Catholic faith. So after this diplomatic journey was over, Dominic went to the Pope and asked for permission to go and preach in Russia. But the Pope told him no. He said he needed to stay here in France and preach against this heresy. So St. Dominic went out, he went out humbly, he didn't wear shoes, he begged for his food, and he went out to preach. Unfortunately, he converted some villagers, some unimportant people, but most of the leaders in France refused. They strongly believed this false teaching. And because of that, people's hearts weren't really being changed. And St. Dominic was becoming very frustrated. So one day he went out in the wilderness, in this forest around Toulouse, France. And he was praying and praying there in solitude, begging Mary, whom he loved very much, to send him a weapon, some sort of tool, which he could use in spiritual warfare to fight this false teaching. And as story tells it, in the year 1206, Mary appeared to St. Dominic, and she handed him the rosary. Now, why is the rosary the tool, the weapon that St. Dominic needed? 
Well, at the time, most people could not read. And even if they could read, they could not afford to own a copy of the Bible. So this heresy, which taught false things about Jesus Christ, was very hard to argue against because people couldn't read about Jesus in the gospel. They they didn't have access to a Bible and they couldn't read. So the rosary, as you know, asks us to meditate upon specific parts of the lives of Mary and Jesus. And it is through slow contemplation that we can penetrate the truth of who Jesus was, that he really was fully God and fully man, that God acted through a woman, Mary, to bring his son to earth. And so although these people could not read the gospel, they could penetrate the truth of Jesus Christ through the rosary. So St. Dominic went out, he continued to preach, he taught people how to pray the rosary, and the rosary has become one of the most important prayers of our church. Many saints have been dedicated to the rosary, including Pope St. John Paul II, Mother Teresa, Padre Pio, St. Therese, nearly every saint has seen the rosary as this powerful tool, not only for our own conversions, but for the conversions of the world. And we have the rosary because St. Dominic was brave enough to ask and humble enough to receive it and to share it with the world. And so Sprouts, today on the Feast of St. Dominic, I know what his challenge for you would be. It would be to pray the rosary. So perhaps it's just one decade today. Maybe you spread it out over a couple days. Maybe you're going on a car trip. You can listen to an audio version of the rosary and pray along. Maybe you're just going to do it all on your own because you're old enough. Whatever it is, I challenge you, and so does St. Dominic, to grab hold of this super powerful weapon from Mary, a weapon that fights the real battle spiritual battles against temptation and evil. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. A big old welcome to everyone that has joined us inside the Catholic Sprouts Clubhouse. We had our first event on Friday, a pray and play event. Congratulations to everyone that won prizes. I'm looking forward to our next two events on the coming Saturdays, a live question and answer with a monk and a nun and our fun liturgical crafting club. If you are still hoping to join, doors close and we will no longer be enrolling families after this Wednesday the 9th. So make sure you come and join. If you have questions, just send me an email at nancy at catholicsprouts.com. Can't wait to see you in there, to get to know you, and to truly see all these families transformed into families that are truly vibrant and thrilled to be Catholics. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.